Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sayın Başbakan, Aziz Kardeşim Prime İmran Minister, Han, my dear brother Imran Khan, distinguished representatives of our business world, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to salute you with my deepest regards. Assalamu alaikum ve rahmetullahi ve berekatuhu. I am happy and honored to be in Pakistan, which we regard as our second home. Right at the outset, I would like to thank the Pakistan authorities and to the people of Pakistan for their for being such a great host. We are experiencing in full our program in Pakistan. Yesterday, we had a sincere conversation with the Honorable President, Mr. Arif Alvi. And today, I had the opportunity to address uh, the parliamentarians, members of the Pakistan National Assembly and the Senate. And right after this business forum, together with my brother Imran Khan, we are going to hold the sixth meeting of the high-level strategic cooperation council. So we will have extended our uh, relations to a higher level. Our, I wish that these meetings, this business forum and our meetings will be useful for our countries. I would like to thank Daik and its Pakistani counterpart for bringing together such a select audience for representing the business communities. These, the connections that you have established and you will establish, hopefully, will open the door for new businesses, new partnerships. Our relations, we want to increase the level of commercial and economic relations to the level of our political relations. Despite the uh, invest, increase in trade and investment, unfortunately, we see that we are lagging behind the potential. Turkey and Pakistan, who has a total population of over 300 million, has only $800 million of foreign trade, and this is, uh, this is something we cannot accept. So we should quickly increase our bilateral trade to first $1 billion and then bring it up to $5 billion. Of course, we cannot attain these objectives just by, just by goodwill. We have to take determined, clear, and strong steps towards our common objectives. We are aware that the, the two countries have similar export items. However, there are many complementary industries uh, and that, that would complement each other. Therefore, we need to focus on these areas and we have to bring the trade relations to the level it deserves. And we should not allow protectionism uh, establish walls between us. My dear friends, we have increased uh, investments in the recent times. Turkey's investment in Pakistan is now at 100 million. Turkish, I'm, I'm very happy to see that Turkish companies from energy to food, from uh, construction to other fields, act being active in Turkey. Our companies are working in such a manner that would fit into the friendship of Turkey and Pakistan. They are serving Pakistan. And our companies are actually intending to increase their investments. Anadolu Group has a plan for investment of $200 million. And likewise, Hayat Kim 
بلان اوف 300 inaugurate a new uh, daily processing industry in Punjab. These are good news. And in our country, we have 158 companies with Pakistan capital. And their total investments in Turkey is about $100 million. And we wish to see that this number of companies and the amount of investment uh, shall increase. In our, I always underline uh, something on every occasion. We, we prefer to say international investments rather than foreign investments because according to our understanding, capital does not have a nationality. Therefore, uh, capital nationalism is not a correct attitude. So we do not see any difference between Turkish companies and the international companies investing in Turkey. We are not only supporting international investments with legal uh, regulations, but also we support them institutionally. We opened, uh, we opened, uh, we have a model of uh, offering Turkish citizenship to certain international investors under certain conditions. So far, no one who believed in Turkey and who investment in Turkey was, uh, was upset, did not regret. I believe and I invite Pakistani brothers to have trust in the Turkish economy and to have confidence in, the, in the Turkey's future. Turkey has a strong state tradition, young and educated workforce uh, with highly entrepreneurial private industry. It's one of the 20th, uh, it's one of the top 20 economies in the world. We had uh, the public debts of 72% uh, and we brought it down to 30%. The budget deficit ratio to the national income was 11 percent, and we brought it down to 2 percent. Between 2009 and 2018, we, we provided new, invest, uh, new employment opportunities to 900,000 people in tourism. We increased the number of tourists from 13 million to 51 million, and we increased our touristic revenues from 8.5 billion dollars to 35 billion dollars. In the last 17 years, we had uh, 22 mil billion dollars worth of foreign investment, international investment. Our banking industry is strong today. Turkish Airlines flies to 126 countries and 328 international destinations. So this is one of the biggest airlines operating in the world. In 2002, we had exports of 26 million billion dollar level, and according to just uh, last week's uh, figures, we took it up to 181 billion dollars. Our exports in January increased by 6% compared to the same period of last year. Despite all the attacks, all the uh, economic uh, espionage, regional, uh, regional uh, uh, instabilities, we are continuing successfully on our way. Distinguished business people, we see that Pakistan is taking important steps in uh, facilitating business environment under the leadership of my brother Imran. We, we are ready to help Pakistan in, in this uh, respect. We are aware that Pakistan offers a lot of opportunities. As Turkey, uh, we have companies of international renown in the fields of defense, transportation, housing, healthcare, and construction.
Our, our cooperation with Pakistan in the field of defense industry is becoming deeper. In uh, contracting, Turkish companies assume $3.5 billion worth of 68 projects. And among them, there are important uh, infrastructure and energy projects, especially in energy. In, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, hydro power, hydroelectric uh, energy, uh, we we have constructors, uh, contractors who can be of help in this respect. In individual projects uh, and with the effect of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor projects, we see that the in energy problems uh, are now over. We are happy to see that. Our contracting companies, which rank second in the world, would like to would like to enter into light-scale energy and infrastructure projects. Of course, we see that Turkey is not given the same uh, possibilities that are offered to some other countries. Uh, China-Pakistan economic corridor projects uh, should be explained to Turkish entrepreneurs much better. We are ready to work on that. In this framework, we can identify a pilot uh, industry, a pilot sector investments. We can identify it together and we can bring together a few large scale companies. Connectivity is very important for our country and we know that it's important for Pakistan as well. In this respect, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, TAPI, natural gas pipeline, and Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, electrical energy transmission line project will be useful project in connectivity. TAP T on the Turkmenistan uh, leg uh, of Top Energy Project, we have our Chalik Holding Company. So I believe that uh, it will be beneficial for Pakistan to benefit from the experience of our countries. And Turkish uh, cereals uh, that are followed by millions of people abroad are being followed by Pakistani people as well. So, therefore, uh, we can cooperate in the f industry of movie making and serial making. Dear friends, before concluding, I would like to touch upon something which I find important. I learned that Pakistan people prefer Western countries for medical treatment. I think we have to change this attitude now. Turkey is one of the countries, uh, one of the main destinations in the world of uh, medical health care and related tourism. Uh, we have uh, hosp city hospitals with the latest technology. Uh, they have identified, they have set the standards in the industry with the quality of service and with affordable prices. Turkey is far advanced than Western countries. But of course, uh, we have to uh, cooperate. Uh, we have uh, established uh, 10 city hospitals with a total bed capacity of 13,000. And we had more than 500,000 foreigners uh, to who came to Turkey for, for medical care, health care. So, Turkey uh, should provide you with the same uh, opportunities. And uh, inshallah, I believe that we can make this happen. And hopefully tomorrow we are going to sign today the strategic economic framework together with my brother Imran. With our support, with the efforts of the business people, Turkish, Pakistan, political, uh, commercial and economic relations, 
will be upgraded uh, to the level it, it deserves. So uh, we have the will uh, and the intention to be on the side of our private sector companies and uh, to motivate them. I wish you all the best. May God help us. I would like to thank you for your participation. Pakistan, Turkey, Dosti Zindabad.